welcome to RSPS YouTube channel. This video is exclusively recorded for this channel for those who want to familiarize with Palm GHG calculator. There are three parts to this video and you are now watching part two, which will be data entry for Mills operation. Part one in a, in, a, in a separate video has explained data entry for plantation or estate. If you're interested, you can refer to part one. Now, I'm going to start with data entry for extraction here. Uh, when it comes to extraction tab, user will have to key in two information, which is CPO production and PK production. So 3577 and 1200 has been pre-filled um, for the purpose of this video. I'm going to click save and then you'll, you'll be able to see what's the OER and KER value. Next, we have the Palm Kernel Crusher tab, which has two options of yes and no. Yes, indicating that there is a kernel crusher facility operating within the mill. Uh, no being there isn't a kernel crusher facility. Now, if it's a no, you select no, click save, and you can continue with the other data entries. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm selecting yes. Now, uh, 1200 here is a figure that is taken from the previous step. So this is an auto transfer figure. And as you can see, the, the box is shaded. So there isn't much needed uh, in terms of action there. This actually pre-added value. So I'm just gonna continue to add a uh, thousand on own PK crushed um, and probably about a hundred from PK from other sources, zero in terms of emission from other PK. So that gives us a total of 1,100 ton of palm kernel um, crushed in which I am gonna give about 800 ton of palm kernel oil as and say about 200 oops, 200 ton of palm kernel um, expeller that is produced and then i'm clicking save once that is done i'm heading to the next step which is kernel shell um, over here the only row that requires a data input is for sales of sale of excess palm kernel shell for energy production i'm leaving this at zero so no action taken, save. I'm proceeding to the next step, which is the palm oil mill affluent tab. Right, now, so with this tab, um, again, there are two options given, uh, which is yes, to indicate you have the data for production volume of home produce, and you have um, the COD figure for COD removed during digestion, and this, uh, this is the COD value that you get uh, by minusing before anaerobic and after anaerobic digestion. So provided you have both, you can click on yes and start keying in the value like how I've done it here. If you don't, you select no, click save. And by selecting no, RSP, uh, sorry, the farm calculator will use a set of default values to calculate what would be the emission coming from for me be like. So in the case of I've selected yes, I have to key in my Home volume, the percentage uh, of home that is diverted to compost or anaerobic digestion. So in this case, I've added 100% uh, of home that is heading to anaerobic digestion, in which the breakdown of this 100% is added here. So if you look at these three bullet points, uh, anaerobic flaring and electricity generation, this tree has to add up to a total of 100%. So in this example, uh, I'm saying 100% of POME goes to anaerobic digestion. I have given uh, the COD value before and after anaerobic digestion. And with that, I am clicking save to proceed to the next step, which is the electricity tab. Now over here, it's the first two row that user needs to key in information. First being the consumption of electricity utilization. So I'm clicking a random figure. That. And once I click save, the third and the fourth figure is an auto calculated uh, uh, cell to show what's the emission resulting from electricity utilization and the excess electricity. Now, in case you, add, you have added figure, uh, you have added a value here that's more than zero, and you notice that the third and the fourth row is still left blank. So that's a sign to show that you probably overlooked, you missed out to enter the default value for electricity emission coefficient, uh, which is something that was explained in part one of the video. So you want to watch that to see how you can set um, electricity emission coefficient. 
So this is done. I'm selecting save. I'm heading to mail field. This is pretty direct, similar to how we added fuel data for plantation in part one. So all you do is select add record. I'm gonna go with FIV milling, petrol. You add in the volume of petrol use, select save, and there you go, the data is there. Now next is on empty fruit bunch management. So there are four breakdown of management given here in which all four needs to total up to 100%. I have given uh, equal split between EFB transport for fuel application as well as EFB converted for composting, right? So the gray boxes here will auto calculate the end to emission that is coming from uh, these EFB practices. I'm selecting save and moving to compost. So in compost, I've also added about 100 ton of compost that are being applied uh, to fuel that contains 0.1% nitrogen uh, of resulting from the composting, right? Select save, and then you will head to the final tab, which is the summary tab to give you an overall GHG um, calculation for this meal, right? So if you look at uh, this screen here, it's showing a breakdown of, um, so here you have your estate emission and then yes on top you have your mill emission and if you require this report in the form of a pdf then you can click on print as pdf and you'll be able to get the report in the form of pdf if you'd like to know how the calculation works you can select on calculation sheet uh, whereby the formulas are also provided uh, and you'll know how exactly the figures work so that would be it on part two of mill data entry for Palm JSG calculator. On part three, we'll be explaining on how the desktop application works. Now, again, a reminder, only the web application can be used for certification purposes. The desktop application is solely for non-certification purposes, non-RSPO certification purposes. And with that, thank you.